Well, hello there. So, a lot of guitar um, lessons and uh, courses and so on, they go along a lot on uh, like strumming patterns and chord formations and what all the guitar um, positions are, fingering positions and so on. And, and I find that sometimes what they miss out are how to get that sound out. So you can take a basic A minor and you can use your, your thumb. You can strum with the back. You can do finger picking. This is a really good one for working out if you've got it right because Because if you don't press hard enough, so you want a clean sound. And once you've got that, then you're going to want to think about, well, am I using my, my fingers and my nails? Or am I going to go for picks? And a lot of different picks of different thicknesses and different materials and different makes. You really got to find something that you're comfortable with. Now this one here is 0.73 millimeter. Then the same make, these are Dunlop. And this one's a, a 88, 0.88 millimeter. Uh, one millimeter and, and 0.5. So let's go through these then, yeah, and just see the difference you're getting from just these ones, right? So if you take Let's take the, the 0.5 right, and I'll, I'll pop these in my pocket. So you can hear the plastic there. And when you strum, and if you, if you press softer, And then you can mute at the end. So that's 0.5. But you know, let's go for the next one up, which is uh, 0.73. Yellow one. So some of that. Some of that plasticky sound where it's bending you're getting the plastic making the noise is gone but um, actually with that one if I was trying to go fast with it and I try and go quiet with it sometimes it's difficult to go quiet now personal feeling more experienced guitarists might not find that uh, let's go for the 88 which is typically when you go and buy one uh, like these Dunlop ones, you're going to get uh, an 88, a grey one, a black one, and one millimetre, which I'll show you after. Now, this is the 88. You can still hear the plastic sound there, but it also depends which part of the pick you're using. Are you using this, this, or this? Now, some people will say, well, never use the others. This is this is where your, your fingers go, but... Just like feel what feels right for you, especially when you're first learning. Uh, it might not be the right thing. So then we go to the one millimeter. And that's with the the end that's got that on it. But if you go for that end, So it's quite a cleaner sound, but if you're trying to make a soft sound with it, it can sometimes be trickier. Not always. Now, these two thicker ones, this is uh, a Jazz 3. Uh, again, uh, Jim, Dun Jim Dunlop USA. 
So let's go for that one. It's a really clean sound, and then when you're picking, um, but it's quite small, so. It's about getting used to what you've got and what you're working with and just what you're comfortable with. And then obviously if you're working with an acoustic like this versus an electric, different things are going to make a difference. Uh, if you're using like a slide bottle, uh, a slide um, and you're using a bottle, you know, if you're using glass versus plastic versus metal, you'll get a different sound. Depends on the thickness of your strings as well, and you've got to be careful if they're very thin, and then you press too hard, you might you might break them. I'm going to pick that up, so I'm going to pause for a second. Right, so let's pick that up, and this one here, oh my eyes. Uh, this is again a Jim Dunlop, uh, and it is a two two millimeter. So, you know, you're getting a real difference there. And again, it's small, but and maybe you want something a bit stronger if you're going to do things like that. And the but that's a personal choice. It's what I like. Now, something I got recently, which I, I adore, I don't know if you can see this properly, but this, this here, it's wood. And I've got a few of these. I've got, uh, got that one, um, <clears throat> the darker one, and the light one. So I'm going to use uh, one I first picked up, which is, which is sort of medium dark. And then but you can hear that and I'm going to go back through them so that's a quite a thick wooden one let's go back to the two see the difference and that's gonna influence the sound of what you're playing and then just to get like a real so my picks all of them in here uh, a real understanding of something like super super thin this again is a Jim Dunlop it's a 38 millimeter a 0.38 millimeter I mean. <clears throat> the right doesn't sound as good as say uh, 88 or the wooden one see if you're gonna need to make an extra sound to keep it lasting longer then uh, a different pick is going to make a, a difference to how that sounds. And again, it depends on your guitar, how big it is, whether it's a hollow body and it, it gives that depth of sound or not. It's one of the reasons I picked a hollow body electric is because I wanted the extra depth. I wanted it to sound good even when it's not plugged in. So when it is plugged in, you really get this, um, this feeling to it. That doesn't mean it's going to be great for every single style and song or person. It's quite a heavy guitar, but the big thing is try things out. It's not always the thing that looks cool that's going to feel right for you. It's not always, oh, that looks amazing, or that looks sexy, or, or whatever. Uh, what feels right, not just when you hold it, but when you're when you're playing it, when your fingers are moving up and down the guitar. Uh, how does that work for you? Can you can you move quickly from chord to chord and and uh, you know, <clears throat> point to point. There you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've got any 